Okay, so this is the experiment on specific heat capacity, and I'm going to take a few measurement examples. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to have the hot metals in the pot in boiling water, and I'm going to use ice cold water. And I didn't mean to get the ice. There. I have marked the um, cups to 100 milliliters. Usually I would use 50 milliliters, but the samples that I'm using are have a lot of mass, so I'm using more water than usual. And then I'm going to measure temperature on these just before I put the sample in. I measured the temperature of the boiling water and it was at 99 degrees Celsius did that a couple of minutes ago. So as I transfer the metal, I'm also going to assume that it's going to be 99 degrees Celsius. And this one here pretty much reads 4 degrees Celsius. I don't I don't know if this can be actually read on the on the camera. But so anyway, so I got 4 degrees Celsius cold water and 100 degrees, I'm sorry, 99 degrees Celsius piece of brass. Put it in there, cover it for a little while. Do the same thing with the lead. Yeah, pretty much 4 degrees. So I put 99 degree lead in there, and then I'm going to give it about a minute or and a half in order to have the heat flow from the hot metal into the cold water and then get a mixing temperature. I also before measured the mass of both of these samples and the brass was 271 grams and the lead was 361 grams. Okay, I'm going to see what happens here. This I think that was already kind of like a minute, minute and a half. Okay, I'm just going to put this one in here. And I'm just going to monitor it. And yeah, if you want to come around. I'm not going to record this temperature. I'm just going to monitor it to see if it tops out at some point. Of course, I'd start, I go with the cold water, so at some point it's going to top out. Um, this one is relatively close to room temperature, actually. If I go from the other side, that I would have a cold metal with boiling water, then it would actually bottom out. I would have to wait for that. Um, I don't think it changes much anymore, so I want to say I pretty much have 19 degrees on this one. This one would be the brass, and I have... 13 degrees for the lead. And that's all the data I need, and then I would have to do the calculations on those. Okay, thank you.